<laughs> oh, look at that! <laughs> you okay? Look at the, look at the potato! She was just the happiest little girl all the time. <laughs> Lisey! She was full of light and happiness and everyone that met her was lit up by her. Today would have been Lisey Salisbury's sixth birthday. But three weeks ago, she lost her life after a fire broke out at the family's home in Pembrokeshire. Her mother, Tara, reached out to Sky News to pay tribute to her daughter and talk about what happened that day. We met at Lisey's favourite beach. Abby and Lisey had decided that they were going to have a sister sleepover, as they did very often. Uh, Abby tucked her into bed for the night, uh, put some telly on and went downstairs to make her some brioche in the oven just to warm them up for her. And the fire alarm was so sensitive in our house that even if you just put a piece of toast in the toaster, it, it would go off, you know, no burning needed, it would just go off for everything. And because of Lisey's autism, she couldn't stand loud noises, it really upset her. And uh, as usual, the alarm went off after about five minutes of being downstairs, uh, Abby being downstairs. They leapt out of bed, ran downstairs and started pushing on the button to try and get it to turn off before it could upset Lisey too much. Uh, but this time, no matter how many times I pushed the button, the alarm wouldn't turn off. And I said to Abby, have you burned something? And she said, no, no, there's nothing burning. Lisey started really screaming upstairs, like really screaming. Abby ran up the stairs, and by the time she got to the top of the stairs, she screamed, oh my God, the room is on fire. And I turned my head to the staircase and there was smoke coming down the stairs and I just thought, oh my God. Tara and her partner Josh ran upstairs, but the fire had taken hold. We didn't have any buckets or anything to hand upstairs. And I suddenly thought, if I run into the bathroom and I soak a load of bath towels in cold water, I can wrap myself up and I can run in and I can grab her. And I went to leap forwards and he grabbed me and he said, no way, and he took one of the towels and he threw it in and it literally, it burst, it was soaked, but it burst into flames. The minute it hit the floor, there was no protection from it whatsoever. The couple and her two other daughters managed to escape the house in just their pajamas with no possessions. The community has rallied, raising around 20,000 pounds so far. Why did you want to, to do this interview? Why did you want to speak at this point? I just wanted to, tell people what happened that night. Um, Do you feel that helps? Yeah. With the process of... Yeah, it does. With the, with the process of grieving and such, it's letting people know what happened and mostly to say thank you for all the generosity. The cause of the fire isn't known and a police investigation is underway. Officers are not treating it as suspicious. For Tara, it is a time of unimaginable pain but places like this beach hold her dearest memories. We would come down so that she could play in the sea. She just, she loved being in the water. All she wanted to do was be out in the sea. And I will miss her so much. And that little tiny smile. Dan Whitehead, Sky News at Poppet Sands Beach in Cardigan.